What's going on guys, it's the Jimmy Fan here on Jimmy Master Animatronics and what you're looking at here is actually BJV's or v, BJV93's original spinning bat on a tree trunk. It doesn't look like it because the last time I remember him showing it was in the video where he was talking about himself and stuff and that he was showing some things that he had worked on and didn't get to finish in the past. I think he said he got frustrated and just gave up on the project. Um, so I guess you could say I finished it for him. And yes, if you're wondering, this is actually his original one. I didn't part, I didn't part this one out for anything. I actually added on to it because if you didn't know, I actually had the first generation. I'll get to that in a second about the generations. I had the first generation bat, but it had a few problems with it. Problems that I could have possibly fixed, but I just didn't. I didn't care to do so because I already had this one, and this is probably a whole better of an option to fix rather than my other one. Um, I had some circuit board issues, as insane. The motor was programmed to go a little bit too fast. Since mine was an older generation, it would go around the tree trunk twice, to, even to three times. Because the relay, you see, the relay switches would activate, but the motor would be so strong as to go ahead and push it towards or after that limit. Even though the motor stops, it still runs, you know, because the bat on it was heavy. It's kind of a heavier, you know, it's not really a lightweight of figure since all the mechanisms and wiring is all up in there. So that being said, it would go around and it would go twice and then it would fall down and it would go around again. So it would never stay up straight. Uh, not only that, in the process of trying to fix it when I first got it, the, um, the head motor fried out. Not just the motor itself, but the function, the powers that had fried out. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I did. And in, if you want to see a clip of that one, uh, just check out the Halloween decorations, indoor Halloween decorations 2016. It's somewhere in the middle of all those clips. You'll just have to scroll through and find it. Um, but what it, would, what it would do, like I said, it would do several rounds instead of just going down once, looping once, and then, you know, flapping its wings or doing whatever. And it would lose balance and also fall down or do whatever. So it just, it just wasn't worth restoring as it sat. So what I did is, um, when I saw BJV93 had this, I contacted him personally. I was like, hey, you know, listen, I saw you got this bat, this parts bat here that you never finished or whatever. Um, just shoot me a message if you want to sell it to me or whatever. And he said, yeah, he'd be glad to, because I was buying a few other items with him at the time. So I was like, listen, if you throw this in, you know, I'll pay a little extra or do whatever. And we agreed upon that. And here it sits. And I would have done a restoration video on this, but then again, I just kind of wanted to see how it was going to work. Because I didn't know, I didn't know if I was taking. A, I was kind of taking a gamble when I got this, because I didn't know if all, all the parts in this or some of the parts in it were fried as well. So as I was like, you know, if I do all this wiring and resoldering stuff, there's no guarantee it's still going to work 100%. Um, but like I said, it, it turned out amazing. I could not be happier with this restoration. And uh, the things that are original, and don't worry, everything on this is basically original except the head and the body. Everything else is completely original. Because I the um I gave mine a new I put a head motor in here resoldered that this is the wing mechanism to the one to this one that you gave me and then um basically the only thing like I said is from mine is the head since it didn't have the head and uh, but yeah everything else is intact oh yeah the the mechanism that spun it it didn't it didn't come with that either so I um I just installed the older batch mechanism in this and it couldn't be better honestly it it works flawlessly. And it doesn't spin around three or four times. It doesn't make three or four rounds. Um, so yeah, it's it's very neat. It sings several songs. The string works, mouth works, everything you could think of that works on this works. So I just want to confirm that. Uh, so enough of me talking. Without further ado, we'll show your bat. And we'll play all the phrases first, and then we'll get to the song itself, which is actually you spin me right round like a record. Um, Originally by Dead or Alive. Uh, greetings and salutations. Looking for a bite? Candy? The belt's getting a little bit bad on it. As you can see, if it goes back a little bit or tangles up, you'll hear that little squeaking noise. That's just the belt, nothing too major. What? I don't really like being disturbed. But it is time for me to fly. Please, let me sleep. Can't you see I'm trying to get my beauty brush?
just, you know, that just shows you how good of a working order this thing is. And a little bit of a back history on this item since I've never actually gotten to review it before. I had this originally, but my first one I got at Cracker Barrel in 2005 or 2006. I think it was 05 or 06, I don't remember, one of those years, maybe even earlier than that. Uh, but you know, know me as a younger guy at the time, I was pretty destructive with it. Not un It was unintentionally because I didn't really know what I was doing. Because I remember the first thing they broke on it was the wings. They started getting, you know, jammed in the back. So I was like, yeah, I got a screwdriver, started taking it apart. And it basically ended up how this one ended up coming to me. It was just all taken apart and I never reassembled it. So it ended up getting tossed out. Probably not by me, but probably my parents. Because um, if it were up to me, I probably would have kept everything that I had as a kid. And dang, I just can't tell you how much I regret that, you know, because... I could have easily gone through each and every one of these these little childhood items of mine that broke, you know, heavily as a kid and just go back and completely restore them. But you know what? I think a lot of us think that, but and we regret it. But you know what? It is what it is, and I got this item back and fully working order um, after about two hours of restoration, and it was it was a blast. I really did enjoy this restoration. It wasn't really one that was necessarily frustrating to me. It was just something I was excited about because I can't wait. I couldn't wait to see a original, you know loop and bat that I used to have fully working again, so anyways, here we go again. Uh, greetings and salutations. Looking for a bite? Candy? Watch out here, I come. You steal me right round, baby, right round, like a rabbit, baby, right round, round, round. All I know is to me. You look like you're having fun. I'll open up my scary wings. Watch out here, I come. that was so mesmerizing to me as a kid um, was just seeing the green eyes. I really love the green tint that it gives off when you play it. I don't know, I've always just liked that. And I also forgot to mention that this thing is also motion activated. We'll put on motion activation for you. Please, let me sleep. Can't you see I'm trying to get my beauty brush? And as you can see, the wings don't always retract, but that's just part of the programming. They don't always retract, but of course they end up resetting themselves. Watch out here, I come to So yeah, just really, really cool overall, and um, uh, oh yeah, it just keeps kind of sounding off. Um, but with that all being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review over the Jimmy animated early to mid 2000s um, animated loop and bat, Halloween loop and bat, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.